This dry core installation video has been designed to help you plan and install a dry core subfloor. Congratulations on your purchase of a dry core subfloor system. Dry core is a one step subfloor system designed for any concrete floor. The first step in covering concrete, the last word in comfort. Engineered wood core and a high density moisture barrier on cleats. Perfect for basement application. This unique airflow design elevates, insulates, and protects from the coolness, dampness, and hardness associated with concrete floors. Drycore really is your best subfloor choice because it's fast, easy, and rewarding because you can do it yourself. Let's get started then. Drycore panels come in a convenient 2x2 two two size. That's four square feet apiece, big enough to lay the job quickly. Surebeats lug and 4 by 8 sheets of plywood and all the extra installation hassles that go with them. That type of subfloor design. Installing dry core is just plain fun. The tongue and groove edges just press fit together with a tap. Using a tapping block, of course. It's that easy. And each panel is only 7 eighths of an inch thick. That's 2.2 centimeters, so the finished floor doesn't cramp your headroom in tight spaces. Take time to plan your project. Check out the DryCore website installation and healthy home sections for planning information and useful internet links. Check the integrity of the basement foundation. Before installing DryCore, it is important to visually inspect for moisture leaks and to make sure your basement drainage system is working properly. This foundation looks in good shape. You have to visually inspect the condition of the concrete floor as well. This is very important for proper installation and function of the dry core subfloor. Repair any cracks, patch any holes, remove lumps of old concrete, smooth out bumps. Once all repairs to the concrete floor are finished and dry, sweep and clean up all debris and dust in the room. If a working drain must be covered, make sure there is access to it for regular maintenance. The following tools are required to perform a successful dry core installation. A circular saw or hand saw, a jigsaw, a T-square, a four-foot level, a rubber mallet or hammer, pull bar, power drill, tapping block, pencil, tape measure, safety glasses, work gloves, leveling kits. Cut panels outside or in a well-ventilated space, such as a garage. Clean up sawdust accumulations. For personal protection when cutting, wear goggles or safety glasses, work gloves, and an approved dust mask. Use an approved respirator in dusty or enclosed environments. DryCore has a material safety data sheet. You can view it on the DryCore website in the Healthy Home section. Try to keep clutter to a minimum. Predetermine the best location to stack your dry core panels so they aren't in the way during installation. To determine the number of panels required for the project, use the following formula recommended by DryCore. Take the room length times the room width and divide by 3.3 to determine the number of panels needed. For example, a basement that is 25 feet by 35 feet, the square footage is 875 square feet. So divide 875 by 3.3 and the answer is 265 panels. Shimming panels in uneven areas may be required. Use a dry core leveling kit available where you purchase dry core. Dry core panels must acclimatize to the condition of the basement or room they will be installed. 
Drycore has a balanced moisture content of approximately 9%. During seasonal periods of high humidity greater than 50%, the acclimatization process should be at least 120 hours. If you are installing laminate or engineered hardwood flooring on top of dry core, acclimatize the finished flooring in the same room with the dry core. Start the dry core installation by first creating a floor plan to refer to throughout the install which shows the direction of the dry core rows. Once the direction of the first row of panels is decided, measure the length and width of the room from the selected starting corner to ensure that the last panels in each row end are greater than 6 inches. You can also loosely lay the panels down to quickly determine this as well. Install temporary quarter inch spacer material around the perimeter of the room including support posts, stairways and other obstacles. In the selected starting corner, lay the first panel with the groove side against the quarter inch spacer material. Slide the next panel against the starting panel by press fitting the groove of the second panel into the tongue of the first panel. Continue this process completing the first row. Cut the last panel of each row to fit in place allowing for the quarter inch gap. Check each completed row for leveling and use the stackable leveling shims as required. Stagger panel seams of alternating rows by using cutoffs from the previous row. The first three rows should be installed tightly to prevent seam separation. Continue to install the floor, working from one side of the room to the other, pressing the panels together on all sides for a snug fit. When you reach the last row and last panel, you may have to cut to fit. Measure the panel and allow for the quarter inch air gap. Cut according to the measurement and press fit the piece into place with the pull bar. Dry core on its own is a functional floor for storage, crafts, workshop space, or exercise room. When finished, remove the temporary wall spacers and install your baseboard and nosing, leaving a 1 8 inch gap under the baseboard. For laminate flooring, install 3 in 1 type underlayment material on top of dry core first. Then, click fit the laminate flooring together according to the manufacturer's instructions. Thank you for watching this Drycore subfloor installation video. If you'd like more information on the Drycore product or on installing Drycore, check out all the information and useful links on the Drycore website.